Hey, oh, today we're talking information protection in the fabric admin setting. This is going to be a good one, maybe? <laughs> Okay, before we head into it, if you like this content, make sure you hit like, subscribe, all the good stuff. If you need help, head over to CoreanSBI.com, hit that you need a data guide, and we'll see what we can do to hook you up. All right. All right, information protection. You know the drill. We're going to go deep into this stuff so you can understand what it is, what it does, and we can get you on your way. All right, number one, allow users to apply sensitivity labels to, for content. All right, this has got a big caveat around this one, right? Uh, with this setting enabled, Microsoft Purview Information Protection Sensitivity Labels published to users by your organization can be applied. All prerequisite steps must be completed before enabling this setting. That's the big one, all. Note, sensitivity labels such as encryption and content marking for files and emails are not applied to content. You can learn more about that. Links down below. Visit the Microsoft Purview Compliance Portal to view sensitivity labels settings for your organization. Note, sensitivity labels and protection are only applied to files exported to Excel, PowerPoint, or PDF files that are controlled by export to Excel and export reports as PowerPoint presentations or PDF document settings. All other export and sharing options do not support the application of sensitivity labels and protection. It's a big thing right there, okay? If we want to look at what these uh, prerequisite steps are, and number one, you have to have a premium capacity. P1 or P2 or F64 or higher has to be, uh, that's, that's the baseline for we're talking about this, all right? Additionally, you need to be licensed with Azure Information Protection, and that's got to be like licensed, stood up, and configured. You've got to run through all of that. Uh, you've got to be a Power BI Pro user with uh, either a Pro or Premium Pro user license. Uh, office apps have to have all be licensed. Um, there, there's a whole bunch of things on here that, you know, it's not just turn on, it, it, it's up and configured. So if you're in this mood and you're going through all this stuff in the documents, stuff is pretty straightforward. Once you configure these things, once you have all the products, this, you can get this up and running. Okay. So that is the first one. A lot of these are going to stem from that. All right. So number two, apply sensitivity labels from data sources to their data in Power BI. Again, this is something that you can only turn on once the first item is turned on, okay? So once you have that, you can then pass along those sensitivity labels to data inside Power BI. So when you've identified in the lake and you want Power BI to know it's sensitive, you can pass that right through. It works relatively easily. Again, links to the learn documentation about how, how you enable it, how you pass that along is, is going to be down below. All right. Now, number three. Automatically apply sensitivity labels to downstream content. Now, with this setting enabled, whenever a sensitivity label is created or is changed or applied to fabric content, the label will also be applied to its eligible downstream content. In other words, if you identify something as like secure, everything downstream of that content will be uh, will be labeled as such. Note that is constrained in the same thing above. Uh, you know, where it's just Excel, PowerPoint, PDF files, or the export to Excel stuff. It, that's, that is a limitation there. It just, you know, gets, you know, passed along. All right. Number four, allow workspace admins to override automatically applied sensitivity labels. This is something that you can enable to allow those admins to go, you know what? This may be coming from a sensitive source. We've stripped out that sense of information. It's okay for this to be shared out and you can enable people to do this. Most companies don't want to, but that's a possibility of something that you can do, okay? Uh, that's number four. Number five, restrict content with protected, label, protected labels from being shared via link with everyone in your organization. Uh, this setting will prevent content with protected protection settings and the sensitivity label from being shared via link with everyone in your organization. All right, now, uh, I think that's right here. Uh, if you've got that set up, you can't go in and share it to the entire organization. This feature gets disabled, so you just can't do that. Um, you can't share that out broadly, all right? Now, last one, and this is uh, uh, a little interesting here. It's increase the number of users who can edit and republish encrypted PBIX files. 
Turn on this setting to allow users who have been assigned restrictive sensitivity permissions in the Microsoft Purview Compliance Portal to open, edit, and publish encrypted PBX files in Power BI Desktop. Some limitations apply. Now, some limitations apply is like the biggest caveat I've ever heard. This is a big one here. There's all sorts of things about what this means it can be done. Uh, do go here and check this out. Um, basically, the idea is you can bring in outside consultants to come in and help you out, uh, gain access to things. Uh, and you know, even though they're restricted users, they can publish those uh, sensitive pieces of content. All right? Now, those are your information protection items. If that made sense to you, and hopefully that can help you get these implemented or know maybe that's not something you want to have implemented, you know, and frankly, if you need help getting this set out, set up, that makes perfect sense to me. Uh, let me know, holler out to your boy over on LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, or go over to krausbi.com, fill out, I need a data god, and we'll make sure that myself or one of my, uh, uh, compatriots reaches out to you right away to see how we can help you out. All right. You have a great day. Peace. Baker Tilly Digital combines strategic industry insight and advanced technical expertise to uncover and solve your digital transformation challenges. If you're interested in learning more, check out our website at bakertilly.com slash digital.